Macho Man, everybody. There you go. Mm. Lucky man. You know? Yeah. So yeah. lovely to be here. Have a seat, everybody. Thank you so much. Lucky man, because I get, I get in crazy days like today. Yeah. This is one of the things I forgot. It's been so long since things have been this crazy yeah. on yeah. any given day that I forgot the, how nice it is to come out here and lose my mind publicly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it helps. Because be if I wasn't doing the show, I'd just be losing my mind privately. <laughs> yeah. And then I, w then I would be lonely. Yeah. yeah. But I get to be with you lovely people and tonight's lovely guests, the wonderful actress Zoe Saldana will be out here in just a moment. <laughs> and a man, a man who can always put history in perspective yeah. for us, Mr. Ken Burns will be out here in just a moment. <laughs> yeah, okay. here we go. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there in the news workshop harvesting the freshest Criollo Story cacao, fermenting the beans in the sun for two to three weeks before air roasting, then conching them with cocoa butter and cane sugar at 60 degrees Celsius for 72 hours before tempering it all to create the bold yet delicate Tuscan Amede Porcelana chocolate that is my monologue, but sometimes. <laughs> Just sometimes, folks, I am asked to leave a cartel hideout for being a bit too chatty, and I cower behind a gas station where I scrape discarded candy corn and the dregs from a bottle of Mountain Dew Code Red into a rusty chewing tobacco tin, which I heat over a tire fire to make the trash taffy of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... It's a spiritual Xanax for the nation. Spiritual Xanax for the nation. Just let it go. <laughs> Meanwhile, in North Carolina, a pet python missing for two months has been found at a Chili's and returned to its owner. Man, I bet they were excited to have their snakey back, snakey back, snakey back. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, TikTok, TikTok could be giving you hemorrhoids. Uh, am I doing TikTok wrong? Where are you guys holding your phone? According to experts, sitting for prolonged periods of time on the toilet can contribute to hemorrhoid formation in something that's being called TikTok tush. <laughs> People using social media while on the toilet are warned to be on the lookout for TikTok tush, also for Facebutt and What's Ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, in socializing news, according to a new study, not having a ton of friends can be better for your health. That study published in the prestigious New England Journal of Scientists, we're totally fine, thanks for asking. <laughs> Meanwhile, last week, a rambunctious raccoon fell from the ceiling at LaGuardia Airport, forcing Spirit airline staff and flyers to flee. The whole thing was caught on video and the raccoon was removed. The raccoon was removed because on Spirit, raccoons don't board until group three. <laughs> raccoons. Raccoons. I got a raccoon. Rocky raccoon. Hey. Meanwhile, in other plane news, an airplane returned to the Rome airport after taking off after hitting a bird. Look, I'm no engineer, but at this point, shouldn't we make planes bird proof? They fly right where all the birds live. You don't see boats that are like, wait, gotta go back to port, we bumped a fish. <laughs> Plain people, talk to the boat people. They figured it out. And what was the result of hitting a single bird? The aircraft caught on fire. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you 7,000 guesses what company made the airplane that caught fire. <laughs> oh, look at that, you got it on the first try, it was Boeing. You know their slogan, Boeing, we're like 80% explosions now. <laughs> Meanwhile, later this month, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade will feature 11 marching bands, 700 clowns, and 10 performance groups, and only one will make it out alive. <laughs> we also got a sneak preview of this year's musical acts, including The War and Treaty, Lea Salonga, Kylie Cantrell, Coco Jones, Walker Hayes, Rachel Platten, Bishop Briggs, and Natty Natasha. Plot twist, I started making up those names halfway through. <laughs> you couldn't tell. 
double twist. I actually didn't make up any of them. They're all real, but you believed me when I said I made them up. <laughs> Triple twist. Hey. Triple twist. I actually don't know the truth. I'm just reading off the prompter, and I hope to go to my grave unsure whether I, in fact, made any of them up. No spoilers. <laughs> Meanwhile, in an attempt to attract more guests, hotels are leaning into their spookier sides and openly advertising their reputations as paranormal hotspots. It's fun for travelers who are into things like ghosts, poltergeists, and the spookiest thing of all in a hotel. A room key that doesn't work when you've already dragged up all your luggage and the front desk is far away! <laughs> Meanwhile, it's almost Christmas in the city and the Bryant Park Winter Village is in full swing. The last week, it was so warm that New Yorkers were ice skating in tank tops. Even worse, the Salvation Army Santas were going full Monty. We'll be right back with Zoe Saldana.